to my channel. So today I am doing the Ariana Grande Sweetener album look. I hope that you guys like this look because uh, I was just really trying to look for like the perfect gray wig. The only bad thing is this is actually a wig and I really think that Ariana dyed her hair gray so she was able to put it behind her ears. It was just like the struggle was real doing that but I mean I don't think that this look would have been possible without the wig. So before I get started on this tutorial that I'm so excited for because her looks have been slaying. Do you guys agree with me? Like, I wanna do more because her Instagram has been on fire, she's back. I wanna go over this wig before we get onto the tutorial. If you're not interested in the wig, I'll leave down below just to get to the tutorial, but if you really want this gray Ariana look, then just keep watching. Okay, so this wig right here is from a place called Weekend Wigs. And I really wanted to get something gray because like I said, I had Ariana Grande in mind. So I'm going to be going on the website right here and it's called Weekend Wigs and I'm using this wig right here. So right off the bat, the wig looked exactly like it did on from the pictures in person. A lot of the times I have that problem because I'll see a wig online and then when I get it, it looks nothing like it did, so that means that they're stealing pictures from places, and I'm not cool with that at all. I'm really happy that the wig was exactly like the photo. Now, this one is called the Long Straight Gray Synthetic Lace Front Wig, WT005, and this runs for around $90, so that's typical for lace front wigs. Now this has heat friendly fiber, it's 24 inches long, and then it's lace front with weft back, adjustable straps, and three combs for secure fit. So I do want to say something about that, that one of the combs, the three combs are on each side of the head and the top, not on the bottom. So that is something that kind of bothers me just because I like combs at the bottom for extra security, but you can always put a bobby pin under there, but I honestly prefer combs at the bottom. Okay, so there's free worldwide shipping on this product, and they have a lot of amazing wigs, but like I said, I was really looking for a gray wig, and whenever I do wig reviews for you guys, I try to not go to the same people every single time, because I want to show you guys the diversity. So I just finished taking some pictures outside and if I do say so myself, these pictures came out looking just like how Ariana's came out when she was doing her gray look. Now I know she dyed her hair back to brunette, but this is still a 2018 look for her. So I did notice something else, like if I wanted to do that cute look where her hair is like pinned back. This wig, the density is just so thick, it doesn't secure a bobby pin in place so that's something you have to look out for the bobby pin will be sliding out you can always just use like an actual like clip to do so but since this wig is super thick that you are going to have trouble with that i'm going to zoom into the hairline i don't know why my eyebrows look so dark on camera they're like blonde in person and they're like black on camera i don't know why and the hairline is very natural if you add some concealer right here it will look nice and natural. Now this color is usually really hard to achieve, so I really suggest a wig unless you're just like that dedicated. Going back to it, it's pretty long. Like I can't even get it in the camera. That's how long it is. Yeah, it goes way past my belly button. And yeah, my belly button's right here. I'm like the belly area. It's very long. This gray wig, I don't mind that. I actually like that it's long so I'm not too sure how it would do for styling it's kind of loose at the top so my head's a little small for it uh, glue will secure it in place but um, like you saw in the beginning I had it in a ponytail very Ariana right now she's like into that well she's always been into the ponytail and I'm not sure since this wig is so thick I really don't know if you could put it up like that but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed my review i really like this wig obviously that's why i wanted to do a mini review on it so, 
Anyways, if you like this wig, I can leave it down below for you. Check them out, see if you, it's for you. If you like it, I'll also leave a coupon code in the description box as well. But if you guys are ready to see this Ariana Grande sweetener look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just take my tan foundation. I had a little bit of makeup on from earlier. I went to work. I had like a seven hour shift and my makeup is kind of coming off. So I thought I would just retouch it and I was just wearing concealer. So I'm just going to go over that greasy <laughs> mess and just take a little bit of the Lumi foundation and place that all over the skin and it gives me more of a tan complexion. So then I'm going to take the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline and I'm gonna place a little bit over my eyebrows because like I said, I felt like they were too dark. I don't know why they were coming out so dark. I literally used a blonde pomade, but it's okay. So I'm just placing this all over my face. Now I'm going to take this bronzer from the Too Faced palette and this bronzer has is kind of shimmery which is the kind of look she kind of had in the picture i said kind of like five times <laughs> crazy but anyways i just feel like this is definitely what is going to make me look a little bit more bronze and have a little bit more of her cheek structure bone structure i'm not transforming into ariana i only wore the wig to look more like the photo i'm just trying to do the makeup don't think i look like her so now I'm just taking the Becca highlighter and I'm highlighting my nose and my cheekbones because that girl was glowing. <laughs> so she's been really into highlight lately. Like she's always got a bomb highlight. I really wonder what highlight she's using. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm going to take this color called Floor or Fleur <laughs> and it's like a pinkish, it's like a pinky brown color, like a copper color. And she definitely had a copper tone on her lids so and it's very shimmery as well this is going to be one of the easiest ariana grande looks because i don't need to use eyeliner and she has been not wearing that much winged eyeliner lately so that's like the best part so then i'm taking this color called courtney from the jeffree star beauty killer palette and just to give it more of that bronzy glow but i'll definitely have to be going back with fleur because fleur whatever you say tomato i say tomato um I definitely have to go back because this color is matte and it's taking away from the shimmering eyeshadow. So I definitely would suggest using Courtney first or any type of CN type of color and just placing another shimmering, this, the same exact color over it. Just blend it out really well and that is basically pretty much it for the eyeshadow. No crease type of stuff. It's awesome. This look was so simple I couldn't wait to do it. So now I'm just taking that underneath my lower lash line as well. And then I will be going back with Fleur and I will be placing that on with my fingers to have more of a shimmering look. And I'm going to also be placing that on the lower lash line. So that will be giving me that all around glowy eye look that she has. Then I'm going to go back with the Becca Cosmetics highlighter again and do this to my inner corners, brighten them up because her inner corners were definitely brightened up. So I made sure to go over that twice and this is optional but I just take a little bit of eyeliner, a brown eyeliner and I extended my inner corners because her eyes are a little closer together. Then I'm going to take some natural lashes here and they're from Lens Village and they're in the style 304s and they look like this. I felt like they looked exactly like the lashes she had on. First got to prep my eyelashes with some mascara because there was eyeshadow all over them before I put those lashes on. I really like these lashes, but I was struggling with them because they kept popping up. So I was like a little aggravated by that, but I got them to work out in the end. And I felt like these looked exactly like her lashes. I was so happy that I had these on me. Then that's it for the eyes. Look, you're done. Super simple. Now I'm just taking this NYX lip liner in the color Stockholm and I'm going to overline my lips and get rid of my Cupid's bow, kind of like how Ariana's lips look. I have really strong Cupid's bow, so it's very noticeable still, even if I overline. But we got this. Then I'm going to take some of these lips colors. I didn't really show what they were because I they're just Revlon nude lipsticks. So 
just take a nude lipstick anyone that you have like a shimmering one and then take a corally lip gloss and you'll get her lip well i hope you guys enjoyed this ariana grande tutorial and i will see you in the next celeb video love you bye